There's long been growing resentment among minority groups at what defines classic art has historically been devoid of diverse voices and expressions. Now one young artist is changing that one brushstroke at a time, not just by redefining art, but by reimagining the great masters. Here's ABC's Mike Bickle. Artist Kehinde Wiley has made a name for himself by putting his own spin on art history. For nearly 15 years, Wiley has taken to streets all over the world to ask men and women of color to model for his striking portraits. While distinctly contemporary, the works have a historical air to them. That's because Wiley draws inspiration from classic paintings, posing his subjects who often appear in their street clothes to mimic paintings by the old masters. And in doing so, he has carved out a place for a community that has traditionally been ignored throughout art history, a disparity Wiley has been aware of since his youth. As a child, your mom brought you to the Hunting Library and you saw the works of Gainsborough, Reynolds, Constable. What effect did these paintings have on you? My mother sent me to a school that allowed me to see some of the best art institutions in Los Angeles. Amongst them were 18th and 19th century examples of some of the great French and British portraits. Gilded frames, powdered wigs, jewels and, and, and lap dogs, all of this sort of strange code for class. In a strange way, what I did was I, I walked from one of the most underserved communities in California into one of the most resplendent rooms in Los Angeles. I was here able to picture things that I wanted to see. I was able to imagine what I would. And the only limitations within that field were my imagination. Despite having painted people of color almost exclusively for over a decade, Wiley's training began like so many other aspiring artists in art classes painting nude, mostly white women. I was just wondering the challenges of moving from what I would assume is mostly painting white women in the art studio, nudes, and transitioning almost 180 to clothed black men. And, you know, it's arguable that I know how to paint white women better than I do black men because so much of my <laughs> educational history came from the tradition of having nude female models in live art classes. And to that degree, I think that it's really fascinating to know that there is very little in the way of a, of a rule book on how to get the blues and the crimsons and the greens that go into shadows and highlights of black skin. Even if the paintings aren't uh, nude portraits of white women, in a strange sense they are. In a strange sense, they're indicting the ways in which we code for masculinity and code for femininity. For Wiley, who identifies as gay, the exploration of masculinity as it relates to race and class is very much at the center of his work. In 2012, he shifted his focus to a subject that has always been central in painting, but historically marginalized, women. By and large, women have been there for male consumption. And even when we change the narrative, change the structure, change the subject matter, the history has been presupposed in such a way that even structurally, the way of looking is, is directed towards a male gaze. As creative creatures, we have to sort of know that habit. We have to uh, criticize it, poke fun at it, embrace it. So how does Wiley see his own work in relation to the paintings he saw as a child? You know, you are sort of recreating poses of all masters. Is it parody in a sense? What you end up with this is this type of parallel uh, a commentary. It's neither something completely new nor it is, the be is it the original object. It's this third object that sits on its own plane that at once critiques and celebrates a history. I want to be able to create paintings that are mysterious and snarky, but I also want to make paintings that are sincere and, and able to change the world. You're not able to get all of that. And my job as an artist is to continue trying. Mike Bickle, ABC News, New York. Well, there is no trying, there is doing. He's definitely mm -hmm. doing well with that. And uh, props to Mike Bickle for doing a really good job with mm -hmm. that piece.